Hey dolls, Bad Wolf Dolls here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video with a launch of a brand new doll or vinyl figure. Far Out Toys was kind enough to send me the brand new Squad's Place Tokyo Trends. I have three of them here. There are six to collect. I'm going to go over everything you can imagine about these brand new dolls because obviously I know you guys want to know how to get these. What are they about? Is it worth it? Let's get into it. Far Out Toys sent me three of these. They are all different, as you can see. So I'm going to open this one first. So I will show you the box and then, yes. So the box, it has um, all six characters on the front. It has all six characters on the front. And this is the boy one. I'm hoping to get him because it's a boy. There's Squad's Place, Tokyo Trends, and then Collect and Style Your Place. So I wonder if we're going to get furniture. I haven't looked too much into it because I wanted it to be quite a nice surprise for me. Um, so yes. If you remember Glow Up Girls, so this company is not brand new. Far Out Toys are a company that made Glow Up Girls, if you know of them. They are available, as far as I know, in the US and the UK. And they went on a small hiatus, I think. Um, but they are coming back slowly, I think. Um, but this is Far Out Toys' new doll brand. So, so it's a plastic, plastic place, because this, it's a doll and a play set in one, which is really cool if you ask me. And you have the Tokyo skyline behind all of the characters. And then on the side, it says create your place, and then obviously how you can create it. And then it says cannot contain our style because it is way too much. Um, and on the back it says Tokyo Trends, we're so inspired by Tokyo fashion. We simply have to share it with you. Build up Squad's Place to match your vibe and show off our unique collections. And you can follow Squad's Place at squads with a Z dot place on Instagram. Also on TikTok and then squads place dot com is the website. Uh, that has all the information. That's the little picture of the box, how you can um, style your place. And then on the side, it has all six characters. We have Yuki, which is, that is Yuki. And then we have Jun. Um, apologies if I'm not pronouncing the names properly. This is Jun or Jun. Very, very stylish. I love the orange and purple on her. All of them have like really great color schemes. Um, Hannah, this is Hannah. Um, I think I want her as well. I want all of them. They're all so great. The designs are really, really cute, and yeah. We have, um, so we have Hannah, we have Rini. Rini is this cute bad bee with uh, the blue in her hair, absolutely yes. And then we have Mew, Mew, Mew. Hey Google, how do you pronounce M-I-U? That's pronounced me. Me. So it's, uh, she's me. Okay. This is the icon me. Um, and then we have Ren. This is Ren. Absolutely yes. Um, it doesn't feel like any of these are like main characters. Um, I feel like they're all main characters. So there's not going to be a difference in between or who's like, yeah. So I'm just, let me just read um, because I went up to Target. I did my information. So it's a surprise doll. Which one will you get? The container. Um, Doubles as a tiny sleek home. See, it's not that's not going anywhere really. Um, styling in, styling inspiration is based on Tokyo streetwear fashion. It includes one doll, one tiny home, one furniture piece, and two surprise fashion accessories unique to each character. And it is also the winner of Toy Insider, winner of Toy Insider Top Holiday Toy for 2023. That's amazing for a brand new brand, honestly. Wow, I didn't know that, but congratulations to Squad's Place. And the description of the Target description says, Welcome to Squad's Place, a thriving and... I can't pronounce that word. Community that fosters self-expression, embraces everyone and is inspired by the constantly evolving world of fashion, pop culture and modern living. Everyone living in Squad's Place is a unique character with their own story, tastes and personal passions. Squad's Place is a small collectible doll line with six unique dolls that are inspired by Tokyo streetwear. 
winner of Toy Inside the Top Holiday Toy for 2023. Each doll comes in its own tiny home. We spoke about that. So the more you, the more you collect, the more you build your squad's place. So at least I can build three of my squad's place. Um, they are supposedly 3.75, 3.75 inch tall. Um, they are 14.99 on Target right now. But let's get into the unboxing. So I'm wanting to kind of uh, not damage this. We are in. We are in. Um, first impressions, it's really cute. It's like a storage container. I think that's where it's supposed to be. I'm not too sure. Um, let's see how I get into this thing. I've not seen... Oh, okay. So it opens like this. Very, ooh, very cute. We have two things inside and a little cardboard thing that comes out like that and it reveals the bag so in the back it's a load of backpacks which is kind of a hint on who we're going to get because obviously that's what their favorites that's their favorite things i assume and the light on the top is really really cute i love it look how cute it is it's like a little home and someone's gonna be living there in like two seconds we have a really big bag and a little bag so i'm gonna open the big bag because i assume the doll is in there who is it gonna be oh my goodness this is this is too much so before we get into it, actually the bag has a loads of little different things and it says squads place tokyo trends and we have oh she's so cute we have rini rini is caring um there we go, have a little card, which is really cute. You don't see these on dolls nowadays. Um, Rini is, her pronouns are she, her. She likes teal crossbody bags, traveling, and dislikes tiny pockets and girly clothes. Oh, she's actually a lot bigger than I expected. I don't know what, obviously, I don't know what 3.75 inches is. So she's very, very cute. All of her fashion comes off at the back. She's so adorable. I love the yellow lips and I love all of the stuff on her cheeks and her little earrings. I'm glad I got this one because blue is my favourite colour. So, and she has a lot of it in her hair. And her eyes are orange, which are really cute also. Not me trying to get as close as I possibly can. She has some blue eyeliner. She also has some blue in her hair as well as a, um, I want to say it's like a dark blue black hair. And then she has pink earrings, which match her outfit, which is pink, yellow, and blue with some black as well. That is so adorable. And in packet number two, it's really nice because they have these little things here though. So the first thing I get is, oh, okay. So I have this little pedestal thing very cute very nice and then we have this bag which is so tiny how is that even possible I have this tiny bag and it has a little there we go it has a little like squads place on it like s and a z on it so tiny it's like this jelly it's like a jelly purple material it's so tiny how is that even possible um uh, so let me put that on her okay so here it is on her that's so cute it really finishes off. It really finishes her off. Look how delicate her fingers are. So cute. This is going to go like on display in my computer table where I like to put my more most important dolls because I like I can look at them while I game. So that's cute also. So um the second item is we get the same bag. We get the same bag. It is just plain though. So um God, they're not the same bag. They're just the same colour. They look similar, but the mould is entirely different. So this one has texture on it. The other one doesn't. It has printing on it instead. So this is cool. I'm fine with that now, actually. I was going to be like, oh my God, I was sent like the same thing. And that's where you can put that. And then you can put your little pedestal in there. And then you can put um, Rini here the squad's place she's so cute that is adorable so just before i move on to the next character the floor is very textured like um that if you can see i'm just gonna put her card here like that 
when I put them on display, they'll have blue tag everywhere. So nothing falls, nothing's an issue. But yeah, here is Rini in her squad's place. Hello, she's kind of iconic. On to the next. And the next one is a purple one. Again, hoping for either Hannah, Ren, me, Yuki, Jun, all of them. All of them, give me them all. I hope they come to the UK. I've not heard any word on if they are actually releasing in the UK. So I hope they do because obviously I want to finish off the collection um, like everyone else would. So yes, hopefully I can get the other three of the ones that I do not get. Okay, so again, I'm going to pull this down and then we have bags again. They're really cute actually. These are like um, body bags. I wear body bags myself when I'm out and about because you can put anything and everything inside. I think my favorite one has to be the blue one or the white one, maybe the green one as well. That's my sense of style. I love, I just love the backgrounds. It adds more character to the character rather than just being a plain plastic piece. And I really like that you can, the packaging is being recycled. So not only are, is your, is your doll coming in the packaging. The packaging is for life and you don't throw it away. The only thing you have to throw away is the outer cardboard, which is recyclable anyway. So again, we have a big and little one. We have the furniture and the outfit pieces and we have the doll and their card. So, ooh. let me pull out the card first. So we have Yuki. Yuki is responsible. Not same, but kind of same. Um, Yuki's pronouns are she, her. She likes sporty looks, chest bags, green, and just likes no pockets or mini purses. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she has flowers on. I don't know if she had the same markings as a Rini, but here she is. So cute. They have, um, the printed faces, so they are quite, um, they're, low-key they're kind of pixelated but not really if that makes sense so obviously you can see that the print's on you can see you can see what it's supposed to be um but it is like the tiniest bit pixelated um but not like horribly pixelated where it's like oh I, i'm not gonna buy that because it looks awful because it doesn't look awful it looks really really good oh i'm gonna take off her outfit actually so i can um show you how i'm just losing everything so I can show you how to take her outfit off. This is Yuki. She has purple and mint green hair. She has a green eyeliner with some purple eyes. So, so cute. And she also has flowers on the side of her face. And she has a lavender lip. She has a green top with some purple shorts with a purple body bag. And she also has some chains. These are chains. I might paint them silver to like kind of show it off a little bit more. She has a really big pocket here because she doesn't like small pockets. Well, no pockets. And then she has some sock trainer combo going off. There's some high socks and the trainers. So the shoes are, well, the entire thing is jelly. Jelly? It's like a silicone type thing. So it literally just pops off. That's what the foot looks like. Very cute. And that is the, uh, the, uh, Boot. On the bottom it says 2023 Far Out Toys. And then the outfit comes off as one. And yes, we're not going to show her to be indecent. But that is her outfit. It's very easy to remove. I'm sure the outfits will be like shareable, swappable. So you won't be able to complain about them not having second outfits because they can swap each other's outfits if you're if you like that. I mean, I would have liked a second outfit to put them in. Maybe that will come in the uh, second wave. So, yes, I would have liked a second outfit so I can interchange, uh, so I can change more. Um, but you can interchange the outfits if you do like to do that. But I don't like to do that, so I will be keeping her in this outfit. And that's why I would want a second outfit. So then that outfit belongs to her. That's how I run my collection. Everyone's in their own outfit unless I own it. If I, unless I don't own it. Or it's a double. So yes, that that is why I would like a second outfit personally. But the first outfit is great. Hopefully in the second series, we will get a 
second outfit for the girlies and the boys. So into the small packet, that is giving. Okay. Do you see the fantasy? Yes. Yes. I love that. I love little display cases. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the first body bag we have is this front this front bag which has um obviously the straps here and here and it said it says squads like s z on the front mint green and it's the exact same material as Rini's bag so it's not, just be delicate with it because it's not indestructible it will break if you are too forceful with it the second bag is what gagged me when I first opened the little thing. I love it. It's like this silver material and it says SZ again with a little pattern. How adorable is that? Like, are you joking? Yes. Which one goes nicer? Does this go hard? Kind of, actually. Or does this go hard? They both go so well. Hmm. Also, they, are, they have five points of articulation. They have movement at the head. It spins on a ball joint. And then the arms move kind of out to the side, goes forwards and backwards. Same with the legs. They're like a rotational thing. So they spin. And that's the same for both arms and legs. Here is Yuki in her really cute bag that I've put on her. She's so, so cute. Oh my God. Yes, absolutely yes. I really do like these actually. I will be completing it. Oh, there's a little pattern on the shoe that says squads. I think that's what's supposed to be. Yeah, squads. That's design her place. So like with Rini, I'm going to take the card. Ooh. I'm going to take the card and I'm just going to put it in the corner just so you can present who is who and then I think I'm going to put this in the middle like I did with Rini and I'm going to put the backpack on the middle shelf so it has some structure to structure to the front and the back there we go everything's falling well yes very nice and then I'm going to put Yuki in there as well Miss Yuki. Oh, she's knocking over a bag. Maybe she's not as responsible as she leads out to be. <laughs> okay, let me put that up there. And here is Yuki in her place. Isn't that so cute? I don't know. There's something about it. There is something about it that is adorable. I love it. Anyway, okay. On to the last one. I'm really hoping it's Ren. I love Ren. Ren is the boy. I am a boy. I deserve Ren, please. If you want the barcode, this is the barcode. Um, that is the barcode if you want to scan it anywhere to try and find these dolls. They are all the same barcode. Um, I don't know if there's like a different thing for each one. No, because this has the same code as a different one. I don't think there's a code to try and get which ones you want. It is more of a just a, it is literally a surprise doll, so yes. So we have a nice pink um, locker, storage locker. Pull that out, lift that up. Oh, sunglasses. Hopefully Ren likes sunglasses because I want Ren. Um, so there is five pairs of sunglasses on this back wall and the lights are very cute, very pink, very yes. Those blue sunglasses on here are very nice. I would wear them myself. Um, the background is pink and blue, very, very nice, with two pink shelves and three blue shelves. Will it be Ren? I'm moving into frame because I moved out of it. This is the time to lip sync for your life. Ah, it's Hannah. No, yes, yeah, Hannah. I think I remember that. It's Hannah. It's Hannah. So, Hannah is assertive same she her pronouns are she her she likes big sunglasses bright colors sunny days dislikes cloudy days and small lenses me too hannah me too so that is her card i like that they come with these cards it just it does something i like it 
So here is the Hannah doll. Ooh. Oh, isn't that different? Okay. I like her curly, wavy, textured hair. It's very, very nice. So she has these adorable pink piercing eyes with blue eyebrow. Well, it's like a greeny blue eyebrows with the same colour for her eyeliner and eyelashes. She has some music notes on her cheeks, which I should have done because I love music myself also. She also has some blush on the side with some really neon green lips. Her hair is this beautiful green and pink colour. Like I say, it's well, it's more like a, mm, it's like a teal colour, the hair, but on camera it's coming off more as blue, but it is teal. She has some matching pink earrings as well. And then her outfit, she has like a, mm, it's like a long sleeved top with something underneath. It has some pink and green details as well. And then the skirt um, is a separate piece. It is black pink, it is black pink, it is pink, pink and black. And then she has some pink socks with some, some black shoes and some green soles. She's very cute, but I would say I wish that her hair was maybe fully molded. Um, just like these baby hairs are molded, I don't know, or maybe bringing the front down a little bit, just so it doesn't look a little bit weird and disconnected. But other than that, she's a great doll. So like I say, she has, they all have the articulation that I pointed out a second ago. It feels, she, they're quite heavy. They are very heavy dolls. Then even though they're small, they have a big impact. No, they're so adorable and I can't wait to set them up in my doll room. So her things are, ooh, she comes with a lot. Overwhelming. So she has this same display piece that, that comes with Rini. So I guess you could, put them together or something like that, but I will keep them separate. And she also comes with one pair of sunglasses. One pair of sunglasses, which says SZ on both eye. And it is a translucent green. So you can still see her gorgeous eyes. Hello, focus please. So you can still see her gorgeous eyes. The writing is in a blue. And then you get this um, silver tag. I think you put it on the sunglasses, but I'm just not getting it to go on or work properly. So I'm going to put that to the side and probably use it for something else. Oh, you could probably use it as like a, a false bag like that to give her a bit of detail, like a chain on her outfit. And then we have same sunglasses in pink and she has the SZ going across the sunglasses as well. So nice. And she comes with a another pink strap, which again, I don't know how to use, so I'm gonna use it as like an accessory for chain, necklace, whatever. Um, I think it's because the material it's made out of, it is supposed to wrap around her head. Oh wait, okay, I think I got it to work. Oh my goodness, that, ignore me. But yeah, I got it to work. So cute, that set up, that set up her squad's place. So here is Hannah in her squad's place. She looks right at home in there, so nice. So nice and so cute. These, I think I found my new thing because I've been getting a, a rid of a lot of stuff lately. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff lately and I've been focusing on just brats, but I think I found my new thing because they're cute, they're small and compact. They don't take up a lot of space. And I just think they're very simplified and they're not too overwhelming. So it's really, really nice. Again, they are $14.99 doll hairs. So they're at Target. Go there, they should be on Amazon as well. I will link everything down below. So let me just set up everything and yes. So here are all three girls in their squad's place. And I've blue text everything down so nothing will fall. Um, just that's just how I like to keep things so I can move them about and nothing will get damaged or hurt or I will not lose anything. So here is Hannah in her place. Very, very cute. Here is Yuki in her place. I think Yuki has to be my favourite next to Rina. I'm not Rina, Rini. I'm not too sure um, 
But yeah, they're so, so cute. Again, they're $14.99. Is it worth the price point? Yes. You're getting a playset and a doll, a furniture piece and two accessories, which I think that is amazing. You get a full outfit as well. And that is very affordable for everyone, hopefully. The artwork is great. You get a card as well telling telling you about the character. It's just amazing for a brand new doll line to come out from Far Out Toys. So yes, if you really want to get these dolls, I will link them in the description down below wherever I can find them. To this for you, they are not available in the UK as far as I know just yet, but hopefully they will since they sent them to me. Um, I'm sure they will be in around Christmas time or something like that, but these are due to release in October. This is in my hand because it's so heavy. That's the quality of these dolls. Um, they come out in October. It is October, but it's only the start of the year. And these will start popping up everywhere you can shop, I'm sure. So... Thank you so much to Fire at Toys and Squads Place for sending me these dolls for free. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully I can complete all the collection so I have the first wave and my Squads Place is complete. So yeah. So thank you so much to Squads Place for sending me these dolls for free. I really, really, really appreciate it. I love them so, so much. They are so amazing. You did such a great job. Nothing bad I can say about it other than what I've already said about the about the molded hair for her and the second outfits. That is my only complaint. So yes, there's no defects on these dolls from what I can see. There's no issues, there's no paint mess ups, there's no uh, nothing at all. I cannot fault these at all. They are off the bat amazing, no issues. But yes, these are the Squad's Place Girlies. Hopefully I can get the other three eventually. They are so amazing. And look, you can just, you just stack them. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yeah, you can just, they're so stackable. You can make a really big play set like that. Then you can have one in the middle. Here is what I was meaning. You can stack them in such a way that I cannot hold it while filming. So let me know your thoughts down below of what you think of Squad's Place. Honestly, my opinions, you've heard them all. I think they are amazing. There's a few little things, not too much that could be changed or improved on. Maybe that will rise the uh, costs of the dolls. Maybe they want to keep it as low as possible. That's why they didn't include like a second outfit, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I really, really like them. And hopefully I can complete the collection because I would love to have all six characters and have all six places. Obviously I would love Ren. So yes, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Give this video a like and also please share with your friends or family if you want to get this item for Christmas, this will be a very good stocking filler for your children or even for a partner, a loved one. Yes, this is a very in inexpensive doll that will just go a long way and people will appreciate you for a while. So yeah, it's already one toy inside a top holiday toy for 2023. Um, so I think these are going to be really big dolls for Christmas. So grab them while you can because... They're going to be so big. It's going to be so huge. Everyone's going to love them. So let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Wild Wolf Dolls with a Z at the end. And thank you for watching. And again, thank you so much to Far Out Toys and Squads Place for sending me these dolls for free. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please remember to take care of yourselves and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.